Remembering something that happened a few months ago it was in an abandoned church. Who's the woman? Faith Roscoe, an enemy of Sonny's. So I walked into a church. I opened fire on everyone inside, including a woman. But it's all right because those people were my supposed enemies. No, you were doing it out if of loyalty. If that honestly you made any sense to who I used to be, I'm glad I don't remember anything. I'm gonna use a gun in self-defense or to save someone, or at least as a last resort. Or on Sonny's orders. Because Just... he is your friend. It's like I've been trying to tell you, you would do anything for the people you love, whether it be me or Emily or Sonny. And that memory of you holding my baby should be proof. I don't get it. I mean, how can I mourn a dead child and turn around and shoot someone just because it was my job? Why? I think the answer is something I can show you. Everybody? Hey, look at... Whoa! Dig in. Dig in? Well, yeah. you don't have to ask me twice. Okay. I'm not going to ask anyone twice. No? Back over here. You see that little boy? It's the kid. The picture in my wallet. It's Michael. Right. That's Sonny and, and Carly's son. You were his father for the first year of his life when Carly couldn't take care of him. Those men that you went after in the church, they kidnapped Michael, his brother, and his sister. Now that man, that's Sonny's father. Why is Emily with him? Well, because Emily is Michael's godmother and she's helping take care of Michael while Carly is really sick. I look happy. Well, Emily is just trying to keep them together right now. She's worried about you, Jason. They all are. You are so many things to so many people. You are a father, a, a friend, a brother, a protector. What about to you? You're everything to me. No one can ever replace you. <laughs> when Michael was a baby, you used to read to him from travel books. You said that you thought hearing about animals and pyramids and cities and stuff that he could actually see one day would be a whole lot better than, you know, magic castles and unicorns in the sky. You said that he really liked them. Do you want to go in and say hi? No. No, I... No, Jason, maybe talking to Michael right. would be able Michael to jog your memory somehow or something. Right? No, no, but I think it would... What? Jason, where have you been? I've missed you so much. So... Where have you been? Were you traveling? A little. Did you see new things? I see new things every day. Why don't you come to the house? Jason's had a lot to catch up on since he got back. I mean, all the work he does. Um, there's this baby giraffe at the zoo. Can we please go see it? You know, Michael loves giraffes. <laughs> I know you're busy, but can you please take me tomorrow? It won't take long. Sure. Thank you. Okay, come on, Michael. We better go. Okay. Bye, Jason. Bye, Sam. Bye, honey. So? Nothing. I mean, you know, he's a nice kid, but I don't remember a thing I did with him. Okay, I think you just need to give it some time. Right? It's just gonna take time, and then it'll come back to you, right? The only bits of memory I have are about death and violence. Why do I only remember the bad things? I don't know, maybe because those are the things that had the most impact on your life that... Or maybe they're all I've been left with. What do you mean? I, I used to kill people. And now that's all I get to see. Over and over. Hold on, okay? Your life will come back to you. I'm not sure I wanted to. 
Look, Jason, I just think that you need to keep taking your medicine, okay? And if that doesn't work, then we can sit down and talk about... The only the reason... I want my old life back is you. Like, I don't want my old job back. I don't All want right, to deal you know with what? Why, why don't we just not talk about this right now, okay? Let's go for a walk in the park. No pressure, just you and me enjoying... Sounds good. So here's how I see Sonny turning over his warehouses. We'll set up a dummy corporation. And Sonny will sell the property to that company. He'll file the paperwork and pay taxes on the profit. <laughs> and then move it offshore and transfer it into one of our Grand Cayman accounts. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Yeah. I think I've heard everything I need to hear. So we're in agreement, right? Oh, yeah. Like you said, man. You really haven't given me much choice. You're weighing over your head, counselor. If this is what you had planned all along, forget it. You don't have what it takes to pull the trigger, Holmes. Toss it or shoot, if you can. Now that's a good boy. 